so the device is like working right now as you can see the touch is working and everything is working hey guys welcome back to another exciting video so today in this video i'm going to do a repair so as you can see here i have a mi band 6 here and actually i have done this kind of repair many times already but i find it difficult to record videos because it's going to be very long and i have to cut and edit i kind of lazy doing that so because of that i don't really upload any kind of repair video but i do repair things actually so i will be doing a repair video of replacing uh, battery of this mi band 6 and this tutorial will be applied on any band actually so if you are patient enough you can do that actually it's it's pretty easy and i will show you how you can do that without breaking anything actually so i have already done many repairs and as you can see here i have two three here already i have repaired and now i'm going to do this on this one so first of all open this package as you can see it's new one actually and it's dead i bought all five of them for ten dollars and as you can see this one is also new so let's take out this first now if you are a person who don't have any kind of tools i don't think it is really easy for you to do but if you have tools i think it's kind of easy so in my case i do have all the tools necessary tools so it's kind of easy for me so as you can see i have taken out the mi band and let let's connect to the charger let's see if it turns on or not sometimes they turns on so as you can see this one is dead nothing is happening so i have already bought battery so let me show you i bought this battery actually this isn't an original battery for this device actually the original battery some look like this and this one is actually a battery which is about 130 mh battery and here i'm using a 110 mh battery if you go with the battery that is specifically made for this device it will be very pricey or expensive but i bought this for a dollar and i just replaced the bms board from the older one to new one so the bms board here is actually the original bms board and for safety purpose i did that if you don't replace the bms board it's not going to do anything because i done that too without replacing the bms board it is kind of will work but if you are buying a battery if you buying a battery like me you need to know the size of the battery uh the battery mi band 6 take it's about 4 mm thick and height should be 22 to 20 i think 20 to 22 will work and on the weight it will be 10 to 12 so in that way you can buy a battery for this device so as you can see here this one is 401025 that means it is 4 mm thick uh 10 mm the weight is 10 mm and height is 25 mm and i by replacing the bms board i made it a little bit smaller it's about 23 mm so now it can be fitted in the uh, mi band 6 so if you are not if you don't have time to do this kind of thing just buy a regular battery directly made for this device but it will be a little bit expensive so keep the battery aside now we have to open this device without breaking anything to do that i'm using a tool which i made for myself to work with this kind of thing so as you can see here the, here i have a blade here and i break this blade from this kind of blade let me show you so these are long blades i just break this one because i can fit this one here and without breaking anything i can take out this display so first of all i will soak the display with alcohol so i have here actually these alcohols are 95 percent al alcohol so if you are using alcohol use good alcohol otherwise um it will be difficult to like open this device so i will put alcohol first and don't worry about like after replacing you will lose uh waterproofing or anything like that i have done that and you will not face any kind of issue like related to waterproofing so in that case i have to we have you have to use a very good uh glue so as you can see i have already like put the alcohol here so now i will put as you, here you can see that there is a gap actually here and i will put the razor blade there and i will push it inside so if you push it inside it will go inside actually so as you can see here if i push here it is going in a little bit in 
and after that i will push that push the blade uh, to my side and it will make a little bit gap actually then I, I, we have to put more uh, more alcohol there so if i okay now it is like a little opened now and let me do it this side from this side again so so be careful don't damage the display here actually because the most expensive thing of this device actually is the display because it's an OLED panel so make a little bit more gap and just put little bit alcohol alcohol not going to destroy your display because this display is actually a laminated display and also there is not not really way to go any kind of liquid inside there but if you if you have a lcd display then it might bleed actually so the in that case it is it will not going to have help so as you can see here i think we already yeah now already open the display here so be careful about doing this thing actually so so that you don't damage the display so as you can see the blade went inside and we did not damage anything and we open the display so as you can see here the display is opened already and as you can see here um we have already opened the display now we have to disconnect the display from the board so we have to remove this black adhesive from here so remove the black adhesive and keep it aside so that we can use this one later on and we have to uh unplug the display there is a black plastic here as you can see we have to like push it up and we can wiggle the display and take it out so as you can see here wiggle a little bit and take it out so we successfully remove the display and it's not damaged actually so keep it aside now we have to work with other things so we have another uh ribbon connection here so this one is for our heart rate sensor and other sensors so to remove this one uh, we have to take out this captain tape actually so you no need to remove captain tape fully just remove it half and unlatch it and just take it out a little bit and it will come out so we have done any connection from here now we have to open these two screws actually they are flip screws and screw this and we'll Okay, okay so we have unscrewed the dis uh, screws take out the screws now now we have to take out the board so as you can see here there is an antenna actually here so we are not going to take out the motherboard from this side we will take out the motherboard from another side and be careful about like any component here as you can see here there is IC so don't damage any kind any things here if you do that mi band will not all work so you push it from here and as you can see it is coming out and be careful don't don't force it give it time a little and just keep it aside and just wiggle a little bit too. as you can see the adhesive come out and yeah come out so sometimes you will see that uh the sensor will come out with the disc like the, with the motherboard because the glue which actually already not really good on this so what you can do actually you can keep it like this or you can just use a little bit glue to uh like adhesive like fix the sensor there in, in the place so i will do that actually so first of all i will i will glue the sensor back to this position so the glue i'm using here is actually from rely so as you can see rely this is a black adhesive i'm using it's quite really good glue and you have to use a really good glue here actually not to destroy anything like otherwise you might uh, not get the waterproofing so so let it be there now we have to replace the battery so let me heat up my iron here so as you can see here the battery is here and it is pretty big and i know this battery is already bad uh, let me show you how i know these things so i will take out the battery okay take out this so 
there is two connection here so when you put battery back you need to know which one is positive which one is negative but there is a mark actually in the negative one you will see there is a negative mark but in the positive one there, there will be no mark let me focus on that maybe i can show you yes there is a mark here actually so positive and negative or you can remember this because on another mi band it could be different one actually different connection so because of that i'm showing you and remember uh, where it is going actually the positive and negative now i will just take out this uh, batteries uh, battery connection so if you don't have iron you need to buy iron too actually but as i said this one is not for the people who actually don't have the things if you have things then it is really easy to do so we take out take out the battery now let me show you why i'm saying that this battery is already damaged let me open this one and it's not going to be difficult that much so i'll just cut it so this battery hopefully you can see here um the, the liquid from the battery is came out in the terminal here there is a brownish or grayish something here which means this battery is already dead so we will be using this battery and first of all so we will put in this tape here this is a double sided adhesive tape so to like to fix the battery to its main board so i will put the battery like this actually and as you can see here i will put it like this and the bit and the connection will be go here and i will do like that so first of all i will cut the tape and maybe this size will be enough this size is enough so i will put the tape here these things are now also before you putting back the battery here uh you 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 test the battery it's good or not if, if it's not good then if you fix it there you will be in the big problem big trouble so now i will I like to put the connection back here so i will be using my iron back yeah i'm not using any kind of uh, liquid flux or anything like that i do have if i need to use but i don't think i have to use here actually so i'll put back the positive line the negative line then i will test the device okay positive actually it's not that difficult to do this kind of repair actually it's, it's pretty easy okay positive and negative so the connection are already on and we can put back the battery okay i'll put back the battery to its position yeah okay so the battery is on the track as you can see here it's looking like the original battery and yeah okay so now i have to test this board is working or not so first of all i will connect the display again here connect the display here again just to test uh, the battery is working because if it is has a working battery then it will turn on it is turned off right now if you replace the battery the it will not turn on immediately so i will be using this connection just to turn it on yeah as you can see here it turned on and we have two two percent battery and the touch is working the display is working so now i will dis disconnect the display and i cannot actually turn off the device right now so it, it you have to keep it like that but don't worry it's not going to harm anything so we'll disconnect the display again and take out the display now this one we have to do something with this display now right now so it's that there is a clue here actually on the display which you have to take out there is a uh, rubberized clue which they use maybe same kind of glue i'm using here but there was the one they use here actually pre-carted one that like the pre you can just put it back but now i have to take out this one and it is pretty easy but you have to uh, like take out a little bit then you can just like pull it to take out like you do like remove bed like it remove the adhesive from the battery so it's quite similar process 
so now i will take a little bit from here first be careful don't damage the display in this process if you push it here like if you break anything here the display will be dead so be careful about that now i will, I will use any sharp thing to like scrape the, a little bit of it then i, I will This one is actually crucial to do actually if you don't do this you might uh, get a device which you, the waterproofing will be not there and then it's not really worthy doing these things but if you have one I think it's kind of okay if you want to do so as you can see I take out a little bit now I can take out the whole display adhesive from here. Be careful don't pull it too much it might break if break then you have to scrape out a little bit again and just do the same thing again you can see it's coming out pretty easy a little bit more and we took out the adhesive from here as you can see it's clean now we have to put back the mother motherboard back so you have to check which way the motherboard will go so as you can see here i'll put the motherboard back again to its place and push the motherboard into its place if you are using a battery which is not really made for this device you might see that the motherboard is not sitting properly but if you are using a battery that made for this device it will be pretty easy to put so in my case as i am using a battery which actually not for this device because i want to be like save a little money it's quite like it's quite expensive the batteries if you want like this but if you are like me i think it's better to buy a battery like this and just put back the EMS board from the authentic battery so it will be pretty easy so now I will put back the sensor cable back to its own position so just, just put it back if you know how to take it out and you, you can put it back so put it back and push the latch okay, okay. So finish everything and as you can see the antenna cable already attached here no need to worry about that now we'll put back the screws quite easy and Okay, the second screws here actually. Okay. Now everything is back on. So everything is back on right now. Now we have to like put back the display and the display easy. So first of all, I will put back the display uh, here. So and we will test the device first because. I don't want to close the device without testing it so as you can see we plug back the display and we'll put the display adhesive back to its own original place if you don't put it back also it will work perfectly fine no issue but it is there so just put it back it will help to like the, if the device drop the plug will not come out so you put back the display adhesive there and I'll push the display now I will test the display device again so that it's check everything is working perfectly so as you can see here it's charging right now and if i swipe okay so take out and as you can see touch should be working okay. so touch is working but i don't really know why it is not uh, like opening the menu right now so as if, if i touch here as you can see touch is working maybe 
this the battery is not there enough battery so six percent now let's take a look again for some reason if i tap it it does turn on the display but it is not working so as you can see here it turned on but i cannot do anything here for some reason maybe i have to like uh, put back the display again let's let's reconnect the display so because of this actually i'm doing like not not putting glue here again i like at first so that if anything goes wrong i can fix it or like push it back again maybe the cable is not so disconnect the display connection again and put it back again so disconnect and put back the connection again and latch it let's see now this time it will work or not i hope it will work so now the screen is gone yeah it is working now so check it before doing anything because if you put it back these glues are pretty strong glues so if you put it back then it will be really difficult to open it even the original even the original adhesive is not that uh, stubborn like this this one so be careful so i do have here rubber band so keep rubber band two of them and put the adhesive all over here put good amount of it so i'm putting here don't worry about like uh, putting too much because it's not going to do any harm to your device these glues these are silicon glues not going to harm anything these are not super glues so put the displays glue everywhere and check it you put enough if you don't put enough you might get a device which in the water will go inside and you can't do anything so i'm checking that i put enough glues everywhere so maybe enough not enough here okay now i will put the display back and push it push it to its okay now after pushing the display back to its place just put some rubber band and don't remove this rubber band like for two to four hours let the glue fix the display properly otherwise you might find your device the, the, like the water is going in because i have tested and if you do like this you will see that your device is still waterproof no harm or no damage so the device is like working right now as you can see the touch is working and everything is working so in this way you can like remove the battery or replace the battery of your mi band that's all for today although i don't really do any kind of repair videos but today i did it Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.